Back again everyone, this is Computer Science 0478, Paper 2, Variant 2. And this video I'm going to give a brief explanation of the pre-release material of October-November 2020. If you didn't receive the pre-release material yet, you will find the uh, PDF file in the description below. If it is the first time to see the pre-release material, uh, I'm asking you now to pause the video and download the PDF file from the description below the video and uh, read it uh, thoroughly so you can understand the whole uh, three tasks that you have here before you start otherwise you will not be able to follow so you need to understand first what uh, is the purpose purpose behind the pre-release material to follow with the explanation that I'm going to uh, start right now. So let's start. An online computer shop sells customized computer, uh, personal computers. Every computer uh, sold includes a basic set of co uh, components costing $200 and additional items can be added from the table. As you can see here the table con uh, contents uh, or the case and then you have RAM here three types of RAM and then three types of hard disk drive and then two types of uh, solid state drive and then three types of hard disk drive second hard disk drives and then optical drive two types and then operating system also two types you have uh, category item code and then the description and then the price in dollars okay um, as you know here, you have some important instructions in the pre-release material. You need to follow these three instructions, otherwise you will lose some marks in the exam. So stick to the instructions here. Uh, your program or programs must include appropriate prompts for the entry of the data. Data must be validated prompt means here you have to uh, show a message to the user to input something uh, uh, or input some data to the program. Data must be validated on entry. Validation here means you have to put a condition. For example, if the user uh, is prompted to input item code, for example, and he uh, inputs uh, other values than these values, so an error message should appear for him. This is what uh, we mean here by validated on entry. So for example, uh, if he's required to input the case item code, you have options here to input A1 or A2. If he inputs, for example, A3, so this should not be accepted to the system. It should be rejected. How we can do this? By using if condition. Uh, error messages and other output uh, need to be set clearly. So, for example, if the user inputs non-valid input, an error message should appear for him that, for example, invalid input. Uh, all arrays and variables, constants, and other identifiers must have meaningful names. Okay, meaningful names, for example, also you should not mention, uh, you should not uh, declare a variable name as X, Y, Z, whatever. It should be declared as a proper uh, name. Let's say, for example, if the user is going to input uh, item code, so the, va the variable should be declared as item code, as we will uh, see later on in the description. Now let's uh, jump to task one. We'll start with task one, setting up the system and ordering the, uh, the main items. Uh, write a program tool. So we have here four points. You need to fulfill and understand each point of them. Uh, use arrays to store the item code, description, and price. His, uh, uh, literally here is asking you to use arrays to store the item code. What are the arrays? Arrays are data structures okay, that we can use to store uh, multiple values with the same data type. Then allow a customer to choose one case, one RAM and one main hard uh, disk drive. How to allow the user? By prompting him as, uh, as uh, we started the, the previous material explanation here the user will be prompted for example please input item code so he will choose one of these item codes and input to the system 
okay and then calculate the price of the uh, computer using the cost of the uh, chosen items and the basic set of components he, you need here to calculate the price how we will calculate the price for example the user will choose the case item code from here so the price is 75 and then he will choose the type of ram for example b2 so 75 plus the value or the price of b2 which is uh, 149.99 dollars and then will be prompted again to input the main hard disk drive he will input for example uh, c2 which is 89.99 dollars so we will have to add this uh, price value plus this price value plus this price value so this is going to be the the price the total price okay uh, then store and output the chosen items and the price of the computer store you need to store and then output so how we will store so for example the user will choose a1 and then b2 and then c1 or c2 whatever so these values needs the, these values need to be also stored in a data structure i'm going to use an array to store all of these uh, chosen items I made a program here that will, uh, will act the same as the uh, previous material so uh, at the beginning here choose one case by entering the item I will choose for example here uh, a a1 press enter and then another prompt here for the user choose one RAM by entering the item code b1 which is a 8 gigabytes and uh, this is a price b2 b3 so i will choose for example to type uh, b2 uh, and then choose one hard disk drive by entering the item code i will choose for example uh, c1 okay and press press enter okay let's uh, now find how this should be done and, uh, from the beginning so I declared here a variable for uh, for task one. I declared the variable. How to declare a variable? By starting the word declare, and then the variable name. And as you can see here, the variable name is meaningful, basic cost as integer. We can remove the word declare here since it's a constant, and start this by the keyword constant or const. Okay, constant basic cost as integer. The data type here. As integer which is equal to $200 okay and then the computer price will start with the value of 0.0, .0 since this uh, value could be uh, could have a decimal point so also declare a computer price it's a meaningful name also as real because it contains a decimal point also declared chosen item this will store the item that the user will choose as string Okay, the data type here is string. So this is how to declare the variables at the beginning. Okay, and then how to declare the uh, arrays. Okay, declare the item code array as string. Okay, so this is the data type of the first array. I, which will include all the item codes at the beginning item code array as a string how we can differentiate between the array and the regular variables by adding a square square brackets here okay and then we open a curly bracket and since these are string data type we put them between two codes quotation marks okay a1 a2 b1 b2 b3 c1 and so on these are the the item codes that we uh, uh, we can find them in the table there and then also we will declare the second array here changing this to square brackets okay these should be square brackets like here so the square brackets here for uh, is referring to an array declare description description uh, ARR just a meaningful name for the array as string and also it contains that description of each element in the in the table okay all the elements 
there are about uh, 17 elements there and then also we will declare the price array as real since it contains like decimal values so it should be declared as real not integer okay and then also all the prices are there and then we declared another array here which is going to store all the chosen items as the question here is saying at the end of task one it says here store and output the chosen items so i'm going to store the chosen items by the user into the uh, a new array I, i've declared an array here which is going to contain uh, seven elements as also string so for example the user will choose a1 it will be stored here and then we'll choose b2 c3 d1 e1 uh, f2 g2 and all of these seven values will be stored here and then the total price also will be declared as real the total price will accumulate all the, val the values that the user will choose from uh, the prices here so uh, these are the variables of task one i've declared them for task one so task one now is asking to allow the user to uh, or the customer to choose one one case how we will do this by first prompting the user okay and then showing all the possible uh, values that the user can uh, choose so i'm going to output and then looping through the array which array the array which contains the uh, item item code as we know that the, any array has two important uh, items the index and then the content of the array okay so the first element the first element inside the array like for example here uh, for the item code array item code array here so this is the element content a1 which has the index of 1 right and then the el uh, the element a2 which has the uh, the index of 2 the element b1 has the index of 3 so on and so forth until the element g2 which has the index of 17 okay let's say it's an index of 17 so for example uh, if i want to print all of these values simply i'm going to create a for loop from one for uh, counter equals one to 17 what will happen output what is the array name here it's item code and then opening square bracket and then counter and then every four must have next so what will happen it will loop through the seven the, the 17 elements starting from one ending by 17 so it will output item code this array item code and will output the element number one how by by um, uh, typing the index that i've used here the same as the for loop so it will start by one what is the item code array one it's a1 so it will print a1 it will show a1 and then loop back again and then the next value is 2 so what's the value here between the brackets it's 2 what's the index of 2 it's a2 so it will print or display or output a2 so on and so forth until it, it finishes the 17 elements inside uh, inside the uh, array okay <coughs> now what will happen here we will output the item code array and it will start with the index of one that means we need only to print the first and the second from one to two okay so it will print only the first two elements since the user here choose one case by entering item value 
item code. So we need only to show uh, to the user the first two elements inside inside the array of item code, which is A1 and A2. Okay, so this would be shown to the user. Then plus the description array also case counter. What's the value of the case counter? It's one, two, two. Okay, that means description array only compact and tower. Okay, that that's what happened here at the beginning when we ask the user to input the case by uh, entering the item code. It shows only A1 and the description is compact and the price is 75. So the user or the customer can choose one of these uh, item codes and he will know the, the description and the price also. So he inputs A1. Okay. Then plus the price array. Uh, case counter okay also we will uh, loop through the price array and it will only show the two prices of the uh, case types a1 and a2 after displaying this to the user the first two elements of the case then we will ask the user to input the chosen item okay so the user will input one of the uh, items shown on the screen a1 a2 and their description and price and then we will take this input chosen item which is a variable that i've declared uh, at the beginning on top of the solution then we will use condition one of the conditional statements which is the case okay case of chosen item okay case of chosen item and then in case of a1 then the price will be the computer price which is zero at the beginning equals zero plus the 75 now if he chose a1 then the price should be the computer price should be 75 dollars if he chose a2 then the price will be zero plus 150 now if he chose something else rather than a1 and a2 one of them uh, the uh, case else output invalid case code try again okay and as you can see here it will keep looping or repeating until the user chooses one of these only to these values okay a1 or chosen item is a2 if he chose anything else this message error message will be shown to him and then don't forget after he uh, correctly chosen one of these items we will store the chosen item inside the index of one of the chosen item array okay the same thing will apply the same thing for the uh, all the items for the user to choose as the question is saying here to choose the one case one ram and one main hard disk drive one of these values one case one of the rams and one of the hard disk drives.